Have you got problems with your double glazing window when you open or close it like this? Does it become stiff or when the windows close, you end up with a gap down the hinge side of the window? Well, unfortunately, that means that the hinges are on their way out or broken. So today on Fix It With Fowler, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to replace these hinges. And don't forget, watch to the end because I've got some really useful tips along the way. There's two types of hinges for these windows. This window is a top hung window, opens and closes from the top. And this is a side hung window, opens and closes from the side. So that's the type of hinge we're going to require. The next thing we need to know is the size. To measure the hinge, open your window so that it's fully open. Get yourself a tape measure. And what you need to do now is measure from the edge of the frame all the way along the hinge to the edge. So if I put that in, you can clearly see that that is 31.1 centimetres or 311 millimetres. So these hinges come in set dimensions as in the length and also they come in different heights. Now this particular hinge comes with some set of packers so that you can match this hinge to the existing hinges. So to take the window out, it's a really straightforward process. And as you can see on the screen, you can see the hinge and each hinge has four screws, four at the top, four at the bottom. And there is really a simple way to take these windows out. Now, what you need to do is undo three of the screws at the bottom and three of the screws at the top, which will leave a screw at the top, a screw at the bottom and keep the window in place. Then you remove the last remaining screw from the bottom and then when you remove the top screw that will release the window and it will allow you to hold the window quite securely at the same time. So that's all the screws out of the bottom hinge and we've got one remaining screw at the top. A good tip now will be to pull the hinge, pull the window slightly closed, that takes off less of the weight off the edge of the window. Now, this is a little bit awkward, and if you've got someone to help you, now is a good chance, time for them to hold the window itself, especially if you're working on an upstairs window. So if you hold the edge of the window, remove the final screw, and now you can work the window out of the frame itself. And now we can replace these hinges. So this is the broken hinge off the window and I've took it off really to show you what the problem is. And as this locates into this section, what's actually happening is it's jamming. And if we turn that over, you can see that that edge is broken and that's why the window struggles to open and close. As you can see on the new hinge, that, that when that goes into there, it locates the hinge and that should create the seal that we're looking for. So let's look at the difference between the old hinge and the new hinge. So the old hinge actually is taller or higher than the new hinge, and that is a common thing. So with the new hinge, you get some of these packers, and all you need to do is work out how many you need to get this height exactly the same. So in this instance, all we need to do is clip them over the fixing holes and that will make this hinge the same height as the old hinge. Now here is a really important tip and it will make fitting this window really easy. So what you need to do is check that this hinge lines up with the existing holes on the frame. Now it is very unlikely that all these holes will line up but you will find one or two may well do that. Now, if you've got the self-drilling, self-tapping screws like I have, there's no need to pilot hold the frame. However, if you've not, I highly recommend you get something like a two mil drill bit, 
to make these holes into the frame itself. So let's fix these to the frame first, and then we'll take them off and put them on the window. That means that when we come to actually put the window in place, and we're trying to juggle and hold the window, it'll be really straightforward just to get them screwed straight into the frame. So if you get your new hinge, make sure it opens the right way. Slide it into the frame and make sure it goes really right into the corner of the frame itself. Open the hinge up slightly. And if you look, you can see that we'll just about get that fixing and we'll just about get that fixing. We won't get the fixings in there and there. So what I'm going to do is get my drill with the self-drilling, self-tapping screws. I'm just going to put one in this end. Now I've put the hinges in, in the top and the bottom, they're secure and it means that when we come to put the actual window in, they'll screw in no problems whatsoever. I'm going to unscrew them and then we'll look at how we're going to line them up on the actual window itself. To make sure that you get these hinges absolutely lined up, what you need is an adjustable set square. On the whole old hinge on the window, get your set square and line it up between the end of the plastic and the side of the window frame. That way, when you come to put your new hinge on, you can repeat that process and ensure that it is 100% accurate. So now to fit these hinges to the actual window itself. And if we hold them up, you can see that the, the holes do not line up. However, this first hole will line up just about right. So what that means is, on the actual window, if we open this hinge, that screw will line up and these two will not. So we may have to drill them with a pilot drill and then put the screws in, but that's not a problem. So let's move on to that. So if you get your new hinge, line up that first hole like we said. And then luckily I can just about get the next fixing. Now the end one we can't get, so I'm going to pilot that and put the screw in. That's the hinge fitted to the window itself. Now I've just got to repeat that on the bottom and then we're ready to put the window back into the frame. So before you actually put the window back into the window frame, it's a good time to have a look at these seals and check they're not perished or damaged in any way. Now, if they are, it's a real straightforward process to change them. And I've actually done a video a few weeks ago how to do that. There's a picture of that on the screen right now. And if you head over to the top right hand corner of the screen, there's a link that will take you directly to that video. Before you put the window back into the frame, open the hinges slightly at the top and bottom. And that will mean that you've got decent access to the screw holes themselves. Like I said before, if you've got someone to help you, now is a good time for them to hold the window while you screw it into place. But I'm going to do this by myself just to show you how easy it is. Are you finding this video helpful up to now? Well, do me a favour and help this video reach other people. Do these three simple things. Give the video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget, subscribe to my channel for more great DIY videos. So now I'm going to put the window back into the frame itself. And like I said before, now if you've got someone to help you, would be a good time. But I'm going to try and do this by myself. So actually, it's not too bad to hold it in place by yourself. Again, it depends how strong you are, I suppose. If you get yourself your drill driver with the screw ready on, you can then hopefully just line that up. And get the first fixing in. And now you can put the remaining screws into the hinges. So that's the hinges all installed. However, there's one final adjustment that you need to make, 
and what you need is a small flat bladed screwdriver now these hinges have something called a friction adjuster on them which you can see right there now what that does is if it's windy like on today if you've not got them set right the wind can pull the window and if it blows outwards that can damage the hinges so what you need to do is adjust this obviously if you tighten them up that will increase the friction on the hinge and if you loosen them off that will loosen the window off so we're just going to give this a little bit of a tweak and whatever you do to the bottom you will also need to do to the top and that just makes the window a little bit stiffer to operate. So that's that job all finished. I'm really happy with them um, hinges. They actually operate really well and obviously better than the old ones. So that's the end of the video. Don't forget, I've got loads more videos on windows and doors in the series. So head over to my channel, have a look at them. And for now, I can go and enjoy my cup of tea.